Welcome to this two-minute tutorial from biggerplate.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to add images to your MindJet maps, so let's get started. Here we can see a basic MindJet map, outlining the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats for a fictional business. The map is developing well, and we're now going to add some visual interest using the image library within MindJet. First, we'll select our strengths topic by clicking on it. Now, we'll open the Library tab, which can be found here. You see there are a number of options, including various icons, but for now we're going to head to the Images section and open that up. There are a number of folders here, and each contains a selection of helpful images related to particular topics, such as business, calendar, departments, and so on. We'll open up the Symbols folder and select an image to represent our strengths by clicking on it. You'll see the image is added immediately, and you can try changing to other images simply by clicking them and seeing the change instantly on your mind map. Let's go with this image for our strengths. Now, let's repeat the process for our weaknesses topic by clicking the topic, then choosing our image. And likewise for our opportunities and our threats. Let's take a look at how our map is shaping up by closing the library panel. We've quickly and easily added visual interest to our map, but we have some additional options if we want to work with these images a little more. Let's zoom in on our strengths topic and double click the image we have inserted you'll see a box appear around the image and this enables us to resize it within the topic which is useful if you want to make certain sections more or less prominent. Simply click and hold a control point on the image as shown and then use your mouse to resize it as you like. One final option for adding images to your map is to use pictures stored on your computer which might include photos you have taken or company logos for example. Let's run a quick demonstration of how this can work. First, we'll choose a topic once again. For example, here we'll choose Reputation. Then we'll open up the Library panel as before. This time, we'll click on the Pictures folder, which shows images stored on our computer. Here we can see some bigger plate images from our folder, and we're going to select this logo file to insert into our map, simply by clicking on it as we did before. You'll see the image is a little big for our map so we can use the technique we've just learned to resize it as required. And there you have it. Quick and easy ways to add images into your mind maps using the pre-installed galleries within MyJet or images from your own computer folders. That's it for this tutorial, but don't forget you can view more MyJet videos, templates and examples by visiting www.biggerplate.com.